The former lawyer accused of murdering his own wife and son returned to the courtroom today as the state continued to present its case against him. We are now in the second week of an estimated three week trial. Alec Murdoch is facing life in prison without parole if convicted of the crimes at hand. Today we continue to hear from investigators on the scene at Moselle, this time a few days after the murders. Blair Sable explains the biggest pieces of evidence to come out of the courtroom today. On the sixth day of the Alec Murdoch murder trial, we saw what the collection of guns the Murdoch family owned looks like now that several of them are evidence in this case. Some included the same kind of weapons that killed Maggie and Paul Murdoch, a 300 blackout rifle and shotguns respectively. We also saw the defense begin to object more frequently than last week about these guns, saying the state had not established any relevance to submit them. But lead prosecutor Creighton Waters fought back and the court ultimately sided with the state. The extensiveness of the investigation that was done, particularly as it goes to firearms, and there were multiple guns that were tested, so, and admitting these guns into evidence to show the extent of what was tested is very relevant, Your Honor. SLED right. Special Investigator Jeff Croft also testified that he found the same brand and type of shell casings around the house that were found around Maggie's body. And in the trash, he found an empty box of ammunition, 12 gauge shotgun, the same kind used to kill Paul. Croft also found a credit card statement with a circled charge of more than $1,000 at Gucci. Today, we also heard Murdoch's second interview with law enforcement. <laughs> it was just so bad. I did it so bad. In all, we heard from two witnesses today. First thing tomorrow morning, the defense gets to cross examine the state's witness, this time, Agent Croft. Reporting in Walterboro, Blair Sable, Live 5 News.